We already know the benefits of blockchains. They're efficient, secure, and permissionless, but they're inherently blind. They're designed to interact in an enclosed system and for well-known reasons. But over time, this isolation wouldn't be efficient for mass adoption because to use blockchains massively and mainstream, we need to be able to collect them with everything that we want. So how can we start feeding blockchains with external and secure data? Well, here comes Chainlink, a widely adopted Oracle service that secures bridges blockchains and helps decentralized systems to see what's going on in the outside world and even other blockchains. That's what we're covering today. Welcome back to Being Crypto, guys. If you are new here, please subscribe to help support the channel and get us to 10K. So starting off, how does Chainlink work? Well, Chainlink is a relatively new project, but a very well-established protocol that provides blockchains with trustless access to off-chain data, as well as cross-chain data. What does that mean? Well, by bringing information, the input cannot come from a single source because then it would rely on a centralized source of data, which goes against everything that we know and love about blockchain. So for those that didn't know, Chainlink actually uses an API, and an API is actually the acronym for Application Programming Interface to plug into essentially anything. So pulling off-chain data to feed smart contract platforms, these sources of data could include banking systems, payment processes, even weather and private satellite information, you name it, and I'm sure they cover it. The applications will request information to Chainlink and they create a demand for information. This demand is provided by oracles and these oracles plug into the Chainlink network and complete to be the most reliable source of information. So something else that makes Chainlink a very powerful tool is precisely these Oracle contracts, giving economic incentives to those running them and the responsibility to be accurate and reliable because the reputation of each Oracle is stored on a public blockchain. This potentially attracts high quality node operators to the network and their incentives will motivate them to build a reputation on the Chainlink. So it seems like a win-win relationship. Now let's take a look at the team behind Chainlink. So Chainlink was actually founded by Sergey Nazarov, who was an early pioneer in smart contracts and an external middleware connectivity. Sergey actually launched the Chainlink token in an ICO back in 2017, and it took two more years to launch the mainnet in 2019. And the team actually managed to stay on top of the competition. From the Oracle services available right now, Chainlink is, at the time of this recording, seven times larger than its direct competitor, UMA. And we know blockchain technology isn't great at providing a decentralized, secure ledger for digital transactions. It isn't so great at taking an input of things happening outside the blockchain. So Chainlink's promise is to empower smart contract access to data in the most secure, permissionless and tamper-proof man. So this is really what Chainlink solves. Chainlink is a decentralized Oracle network that aims to play an important role in the real world implementations of blockchain technologies. As a decentralized Oracle, Chainlink can provide input to smart contracts from market prices, interest rates, internet of things data, GPS, supply chain data, and just so much more. The purpose of this network is to provide smart contract inputs on a variety of external sources of data that's not available on their own. And when it comes to creative value for its token link, the protocol has some pretty interesting features. With a total token supply of 1 billion tokens, data requesters pay oracles for fetching data in link, and the data oracles that we mentioned earlier have to put down link as a collateral to guarantee uptime and also data reliability. So creating a natural demand for the token, oracles want to participate and use Link. Data requesters want to use Oracle services and they use Link too. This also creates a deflationary effect since Link oracles have to lock up Link tokens, reducing the available supply for a while, which is a good cause for the price to go up as the demand does increase. So it seems that we've covered everything when it comes to objectives and teams. Now, what's next? Well, Chainlink seems to be an important technology as the cryptocurrency industry continues to evolve. Having an oracle such as Chainlink in place will actually be key to long-term stability and viability of crypto in general. Many well-known protocols are using or will need to use the services that Chainlink offers. As the industry grows, everything with smart contract capabilities is an opportunity for Chainlink. Think of Polkadot, Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and Cardano, and even the protocols that are built on Ethereum. 
and the industries that it serves are wide too. Chainlink has many use cases, such as providing data feeds to smart contracts, creating communication standard between protocols, but also allowing them to integrate with each other, price feeds and public data assets that any service can connect to, no matter which data comes off chain, of which Chainlink is the largest today. And also it can play a really important role in the gaming and the gambling industry, as it aims to randomize and also the ability to use unbiased data security. So the question now is, could it become an industry standard as the most widely used decentralized network? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, but we certainly think it could be a strong contender. And if you are looking to get started, you can trade top cryptocurrency futures or hold them on Storm Game, which is Bean Crypto's partner crypto exchange. The link is down in the description box below and you might get a cashback promo on your first deposit. Guys, that is all for this video. Let me know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to not miss any more content like this.